Well, welcome back to another exciting episode of carp fishing today. The hook bait is banana flavored feed corn. And we got a little bit of wind here today. We got a little bit of waves crashing on the on the shoreline here. Not too bad though. And I actually prefer a little bit of wind because the gnats can be especially bad at this place if there's no wind. I'm gonna put some stuff on anyway. This is the best stuff that I found to keep gnats off. Bug soother. I just keep refilling this small bottle. I buy it in big uh, bottles and then just keep refilling the small one to keep in my tackle bag. I just spray some on my neck and my head and my hat. It smells pretty good. It's got like vanilla and lemongrass and uh, I don't know. There's no deed or any of those uh, chemical stuff. It's all natural. Works pretty good. Not so much for biting insects, but it does keep gnats out of your face pretty good. Don't want to get that stuff on your hands before you bait up though. Now I gotta wash my hands. And by wash my hands, I mean dip them in this filthy lake water. <laughs> Pack bait is left over from a couple days ago. Oats and sweet feed and boiled feed corn. The sweet feed pellets have mostly crumbled and disintegrated into powder. And uh, that works actually really nice with the oats. The sweet feed kind of acts like, a, like an anti-caking agent, I guess is what I might call it. Because I can pack, once the sweet feed is disintegrated into powder, I can pack this as tight as I want and out in the water this will just melt and dissolve after it hits the bottom that's gonna be the rig pack bait a couple of kernels of uh, boiled feed corn on the hair spawns all done at this lake I caught fish here uh, I don't know four or five days ago I think Not casting a long ways because it doesn't really matter. It's pretty much all the same depth out here for the probably two, three hundred yards out, about three or four feet of depth. Yes, we are in business, and it is not a small fish. Oh, it is not a small fish. <laughs> it's going off to the left, just cruising off to the left. There is a lot of weight here on this. in my other line tail hitting the line it's right here in front of me it's right here in the water in front of me no 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 stay stay here it's right there First he went to the left, then he went to the right. All right, come on in. Oh yes, that's a big fish. Get in here, get in here. Gotcha! Yes, first fish of the afternoon is in the net. Yeah, he sick real good right in the corner of the mouth there. Nice. We'll get a weight in the net real quick. This fish is not quite as big as I thought it was about 10 and a half pounds with the net so it's probably a nine pound fish well this is a great start to the day starting out with this nine pound fish gave me a real good fight with this wind blowing this carp pulling drag i don't know it just makes for an exciting situation i know the lighting's not great here but uh you know guess what i'm not a professional youtuber so great fish great start to the day i'm very happy let's put this guy back in the water Oh, uh, yeah, they think there's some, yep, see that? Spawn going on still. 
Yep. Huh. Okay. All right. Get out there and do your thing then. See ya. There's fish of all sizes in this lake. Last time I fished this lake, I caught a bunch of little uh, three, four pound fish, which are a lot of fun too. But there's also, you know, there's 30 pound fish in here, but you just gotta kind of sort through the dinks. And that was a good fish, nine pound fish to start off. That's a good fish. Yeah, they like that banana corn. You know what else likes banana corn? Flies. Yes, they do. As soon as I open this jar, they just attack. Just about 30 yards out there. That's where I caught this fish. 30 yards straight out in front of me. Probably about two and a half feet of water or so. That was a violent tug and then nothing. I think what happened is the fish just swam through my line and got spooked. I'll check my bait. Yeah, I got no bait. The hook bait is gone. Hmm, okay. Glad I checked. Yes. Yes. Gotta give them a little drag, but not too much. We've got a pretty decent fish on the line again here. I was gonna grab the net, but I just... I'm gonna wait and see how this is gonna pan out because sometimes I need to land them over here, sometimes I need to land them over there. Ooh, yeah. Oh, come on, bring the wind back. Ugh, getting gnats in my face here. The wind just died all of a sudden. He's off to the right. He's trying to get under the trees over there, I think. It's probably about. 15 yards off the bank here. Oh, he's right here now. Getting in my other line. Right in front of me now, right in front of me. Oh yeah. It's good looking fish. Come on, yes! Oh yeah, he's in the net. Let him take out some of his energy there. Wanna thrash a little more? No? Yeah, okay. All right, I'm just going to take a picture and then I'll put you back in the water, okay? Yeah, this fish is a little bigger. A little bigger. Right in the corner, just like the last one. Yeah, I suppose I'll get a weight on this fish. Why not? Huh? Probably about the same as that first one. A little closer to 11, right at 11 with the net, so it's a 10-pound fish. Yeah! Fish too. Nice big, long torpedo, 10 pound fish. I'm guessing this is a male too, just by the body shape. Long uh, body and not very tall. Pretty big shoulders on this fish though. Ah, gnats. Mm. This is great. I'll take these 10 pound fish all day long. These are a blast. Back in the water. Out a little bit farther there. How about it? See ya. Thank you. So I just casted that the middle rod back out, and I just noticed this one is just completely slack. And I think there's a fish on there. Yep. Oh, jumped. I saw a fish jump right on top of that spot over there while I was rebaiting this, and I thought, hey, that's right where my other rig is. 
but I was waiting for the bite. Just a drop back bite, and I didn't notice it. This fish is uh, swimming in with me, being very cooperative so far. Felt some tail hitting the line there, trying to swim the opposite way. I'm gonna freak out when he gets here right in front of me. He's right here. Oh, it's not a tiny fish. He was swimming with me so much I thought maybe it was a little fish, but he's not tiny. Come on. Gotcha. Nats. He's right in the bottom lip. There's that three or four pounder that I was referring to earlier. He's probably four or five actually, but uh, yeah, let's put this guy back. Hopefully he's got some uh, grandparents around. Hopefully he's here with his grandparents, you know. <laughs> Why is there a piece of broccoli right there? That is unusual. Huh, okay. There you go. Ah, my feet are wet now. And that uh, that banana flavor really stays with the corn. I mean, it still smells like banana if I put my nose up to it. And it's been out in the water for all, probably almost two hours now. And just caught a fish with it and I don't have to replace it. We have another contender. Uh huh. Oh, jumping, He's jumping. He's jumping and he's running to the left. Come on in here, fella. Are you a mirror or just a common? Let's find out. I haven't caught a glimpse of him yet. The water's too dirty. Yeah. Uh-oh. Alright, now it's time to now it's time to expedite this catch here. Get in here. Another rod just took off. I don't know if you heard that drag peeling right there. Got him. Alright, that guy's in the net. And I'm just going to uh, pick up on this one and just see what it feels like if it's another smaller fish I might just let him hang out and there is no fish on this okay they just keep on coming now I think it's only been about five minutes yeah another fun size five pounder or so good stuff they just keep on coming back in the water All right, get out of here bye bye I see something or other on the line here. Mm -hmm. Running with me, running with me. He's, he's quite a bit down there. A little nervous. All right, here he comes. Oh! Come on over. That's a good looking fish. Yeah, I heard a fun size fish have moved in. This would be a good one for a catch and cook, maybe. <laughs> Back in the water for today. All right, see ya. Bye bye. Yeah, banana flavored corn getting it done for me today. Uh, I have a video on my channel that shows exactly how I make these flavored corns. Feel free to check it out if you're maybe interested in making some for yourself. Uh, you can find the video from browsing through my channel or there'll be a link down in the description uh, with a playlist where all my, all my bait making videos are. That's all the time I have for today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.